this video, we'll take a look at how to write API test for post method. So let's get started. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel, Automation Bro. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. So let's take a look at the endpoint that we will be writing the test for. So I'm back here in our website, gorest.co.in. I'm gonna open up the REST console over here. Make sure you're logged in here so that you can see the token being generated for you. I'm going to select post route. So we have been working with the slash users route. So I'm going to hit send. Okay, so here it's telling us the data that we need. So it's email, name, gender, and status. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just paste the data that I actually uh, wrote before. So this was email, uh, some random email, some random name, gender, status. If I hit send, see if this works. Okay, awesome. So this is working. We are getting 201 status. Our data is being generated. We can see ID, name, email. Perfect. So that's good. So this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create a new user and uh, try to see if we get the status code 201 and the data that we are getting being uh, data being returned over here. All right, so let's jump over to our code and then implement this. All right, so let's start creating our test. So these are all the tests that we wrote before. What I'm going to do is create a new it block. Actually, let's do this and then name this post slash users. That's the route we are hitting. I'm going to do return request dot post. So this time, make sure not to put get. We are working with post route. So do dot post. And then for the URL is slash users or just users. And uh, one thing to notice here is for the access token, we were passing it before using the query parameter. Now, what I noticed when I was trying to actually test this out that the query parameter wasn't really working for the post route. Now, what we're going to do is look into an alternative way to do that, and which is basically how we were doing it in the REST console when we were testing it out in Chrome. If I open this up again, we were passing the token via the header. So we were doing the authorization and passing this bearer token over here. So we're going to do this exactly this way and um, let's see if that works. So I'm going to head back. Okay. So we have dot post users and uh, we're going to set our token. So you do dot set. So over here, it tells you that we need to provide a field cookie and some value. So our field would be authorization. And then the token itself would be, actually let's do this bearer space and the token that we have so that's obviously token okay and now what we're going to do is pass in the data our payload so i'm going to do dot send data we haven't created this yet so don't worry about it we'll create it right now and then we'll do dot then same as last time pass in the response what i'll do is just print out the response actually response body okay so this looks good i just reformatted it and let's create our data so do const data equals empty let's run this to see if it works well it won't work i mean it would fail it will tell us that we need to provide in all the required fields but that's okay let's at least see if our route is being hit so these are all the other tests they passed actually all of them passed but for this one the fourth one we can see that it's asking us to provide email, name, gender, status. Awesome. So at least we are hitting that route. So we see that because we're getting all the 422 error code back and the data. And the reason this didn't fail because obviously we don't really have an assertion here. So um, according to Mocha, it doesn't really know that something failed here. It just gave us the 422 error, which is good. So now let's actually go here and add in our data. So like it said, we need an email. So I'm going to do test at mail.ca actually they might have that so i can probably do test two i believe i don't think they have that we'll see we'll do first name then the name was actually what was the required field let's make sure it was just name not first name it was name i'll do test name and then the gender you can do mail status could be inactive okay so that's good now let's try to run this 
and this should actually work we should get a uh, data back all right awesome so this did work we got a status code 201 awesome and then the data over here is being returned so we have our id that got uniquely generated and then we have our name email gender this is exactly what we passed in as well as some additional data over here so that's great so this is exactly what we wanted what we're going to do is add in an assertion over here to validate that this is the data actually being returned so to do that um, we can figure out what kind of a session we need so let's see if i want to do expect oops expect rest.body.data maybe if i want to just verify email i can do that dot to equal data dot email so this way we are verifying whether the email is being returned maybe we can do the same for status i guess do status oh what did i do let me fix this okay that's good and then change this back to status all right so this is good we are verifying email and status i think that's good enough let's run this um actually what it's gonna do is probably throw us an error saying that email already exists but let's test it out yep we got an error undefined to equal blah blah which is okay so we didn't we don't really know what the error it printed out so let's do this rest.body to see what error we're actually getting here and i'm gonna do dot only here because i don't want to run everything else i just want to run this specific test okay so this time it actually printed us the error okay so this is good so this is saying that the email has already been taken so we need to provide a random email every time so for now what i'm going to do is um just provide a random number after test so i'm going to fix this by doing this and i can pass in let's see i will do math.floor and math.random so basically what i'm doing is generating a random number out of one and i don't know maybe what is it let's do 999 that's good enough so this will just generate a random number i'll do test dash so that we know what number it is and now let's run this all right so this time it passed we got test 7085 at mail.ca if i run this again it's gonna probably do some other randomly generated number yep 6243 awesome so our test is working our assertions are working and so this is good so one thing what we're gonna do is obviously like if you notice i'm adding email and status here maybe if you want to verify gender you're gonna have to do let's say same thing for gender over here um change this gender and but this is too painful honestly there's an easier way to do this um with chai that's the advantage of using chai what i'm gonna do is instead of doing all of this i'll just say response.body.data and change dot equal to do dot deep include and what this will do is verify oops let me fix this verify all of these fields with the data that's being returned over here basically so let's run this to see if this will work for us all right so that passed but like i say every time whenever something passed don't just move on to the next one let's make sure if our sessions are actually working so to do that what i'm gonna do is let's see how we can verify that um i can check that by expecting our rest.body.data which is what's being returned change this to let's say just this see if this actually fails all right that's good that says object tested must be an array map object uh, but it didn't really get that well let's try to do some other assertion right so i think what the good way to do this what i'm going to do is change our data so i'm going to change our email to some other email i'm going to do test.mail 
right? So this way I'm actually updating the email and I'm going to run this. So this should fail, obviously. Yep. Okay. So our assertion is also working. It's saying, hey, we were expecting this email to be returned, but instead we got test at, ma at mail.ca. So this is not what they were expecting. I guess if I do the same thing for maybe gender and change the gender to say female, this should fail too. Yep. All right. So that failed too. Awesome. So this is obviously I was just testing it out just to make sure if our session is working, which it is. Um, and overall, our full test is working. Obviously, I can run this again to make sure this works. But to quickly recap, what we did was we created a, a request. Instead of using get, we provided post. We provided our route. And instead of using the query parameter for access token, we are setting the token over here using authorization and the bearer token as a value. And then we are sending the data, which is basically this we just created and we are randomly generating our email. And obviously we have our assertion. So we are verifying everything together instead of doing one by one for each field. All right. So I think that's it for the post route. In the next video, we will take a look at put route that will allow us to update data for an existing resource. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel as that's how I know you guys are enjoying the content. And also, if you'd like to support my work, you can do that by buying me a cup of coffee. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Keep testing, keep smiling.